one wheel, a marvelous feat of engineering and transportation by the company Future Motion. To some, we've met before, but to most, this is our first time. So here's a brief introduction. I'm Juan Rodas, 5'7", size 9 shoe, still an independent filmmaker, and I'm a guy that's more familiar with the one wheel. I've ridden over a thousand miles on my one wheel and made a few changes along the way. I experimented here and there, took a few risks. Oh, the only thing that hurts is my dignity. Learned new lessons and made new friends along the way. The Pintex. If I had to describe it, speed, power, range, these are the qualities that my Pintex lacks. The one wheel Pintex what did you is one say? of the- What was that? Dude, what do you say about my Pintex? Back out to a wide. Much better. Now let me explain. No, I'll explain this to you. I'm trying to tell my you. My Pine Tech delivers a lot more than the qualities I'm you address. I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, it might not pack a punch, Dude, I am, but it delivers on. three <laughs> good things. Resilience, reliance, relief, and relaxation. And that that's just the tip of the things. iceberg. I fail to All mention the sake. level of <laughs> Before you go on an emotional rant, allow me to finish. There's four one wheels. Which one do I buy? The one wheel Pintex is one of the four boards that Future Motion currently offers. Comparing it to the newer models, it definitely lacks these three qualities. Obviously, the newer boards are gonna be built differently. They serve a different purpose. But I didn't buy the Pintex for those initial qualities. I had specific needs that the Pintex fulfilled. But for you, the Pintex is gonna be plenty, you know what I mean? Like you weigh 140, you know, I'm, I'm pushing close to 200 pounds. So when I get on that Pintex, I can really feel the motors just like, ah, get off me, you're hurting me. For me, you know, what I look for in a board, definitely gonna be that range, you know, because I like to go far. People think I'm crazy. They've seen me so far away from home, 30 miles up the Keys on a bridge on your one wheel. I'm like, man, I was having a time with my life. I like to have a decent amount of range to be able to to go a distance uh, speed is important as well but I really like a uh, board that's durable really carvable and, and friendly on trails but also on, on street as well kind of the main reason is it's a really great mode of transportation especially in a city when you get to a place you can pick it up and carry it with you inside ultimately you can't go wrong a one wheel is super fun no matter which one you have regardless of the comparison to me the sensation of riding a one wheel is something like no other Granted, I've never snowboarded, surfed, or even properly skateboarded, so I don't have anything to compare it to. Let me correct you on something really quick, okay? There is one thing we can compare it to, and it's something that the whole One Wheel community has failed to notice. What can I say? The comparison's unparalleled. Sonic Riders drew me to the thrill of board sports. Yeah, I think it's a feeling of being weightless, the sensation of surfing or snowboarding, but I can do it anywhere. It brings about like a, a thrilling sensation. The whole reason I bought any PEV in general is to walk my dog. It's the whole reason I own a one wheel. It so quickly turns into something that's like, I've had, I've had a bad day or I've had some sort of stressor or like I just need to get out or I need a fresh air. And then it turns into the excuse for all of those very quickly. When you're able to just pop in some headphones and just pick a couple tracks and just go cruise, go float. There's like this magic to maneuvering your body using only your balance, gliding wherever you choose to, riding that raw connection between mind and mountain. The ability to have that same experience while going uphill is incredibly liberating. You know, I'm more of a chill guy, like I said. I just like cruising, listening to them tunes and enjoying the float, man. We all have baggage, we all have history, we all have challenges on a daily basis. And like, what do we do that fights back against that, right? Sure. And it's it's things like one wheeling. I'm no stranger in breaking the rules. How I see it when it comes to one wheeling, if I'm not harming anyone else or myself, I'm all good. But this reasoning doesn't apply to everything. Another day, another Future Motion lawsuit. Future Motion, the creator of One Wheel, is suing Float Wheel for patent infringement. The American thing to do at this point in time is if somebody comes up with a better product than you, is to sue them out of existence using your patents. There is a company called Float Wheel that has decided to make something called the Float Wheel, and it's making everybody in the One Wheel community go crazy, everybody's pissed at each other. You have to defend your patents. 
They're the only company making a one wheel. They have patents preventing anyone else from making a one wheel. Will they chase short term profits, shut down anyone they consider competition, or will they relax their monopolistic chokehold that they have on the board sport? It's up to you guys. Obviously have a lot of IP, we have a lot of patents. Pretty evident that what we're doing is really awesome and other people are trying to figure out how they can get a piece of that for themselves. If people are directly infringing, aggressively and intentionally doing so, you're gonna see a GT outperform a GTS with slow wheel controller upgrade. We're not just gonna sit back and do nothing. I don't see how protecting your patents gets in the way of that at all. So now you've got like all this bad press just on that, and now you're fighting the community against it, who are the ones that you need to support you when you get in dire times like we have right now. One Wheel has the patents to the One Wheel. They have every right to protect their patents because if they don't, then their patents don't mean anything anymore. If you create something and you invent something and you patent it and copyright it from a legal standpoint, that's your creation. I think if you went through the trouble to file for patents, you should uphold it. We might see the end of Boat Wheel. People talk about Chinese knockoffs because China is where most knockoffs happen. Look at these low, low prices on famous brand name electronics. Don't be a sap, dad. These are just crappy knockoffs. So, and these things are coming from China, bigger faster, go farther. But the quality control at some of these Chinese companies, it's, it's very questionable. I don't think we expect, you know, everyone to agree with us, but I think sure. it's like important that people understand our perspective. Both new and veteran riders should understand that this sport is fairly new and Future Motion has every right to protect their product. The law is on their side and yet it's temporary. Your predictions for 2035. I can see more awareness in, uh, around the sport and more people getting into it. I'll be old as hell, man, in 2035. It'll be progressed so much. It's going to be like the future. I know there'll be a lot more companies by that point. Absolutely. And there are probably a lot of them already thinking about it, man, because you oh, can yeah. see how much it's, it's, it's taken off. 2035. That's, you know, it's not just going to be like the blink of an eye. I'm grateful for this device. Not because it's a means of transportation, it helped me realize what I've lacked and what I've gained. I want to reiterate, don't hate on future motion. <laughs> I, I want us all to live as in a symbiotic relationship. Not once when we were out there did I hear anyone in that headquarters utter a negative word towards an individual in the community or that represents another brand or company. At the end of the day, all of this is about having fun and riding our boards. It's always been that, you know, F future motion. People are allowed whatever decisions they want. People have the, the freedom to, to choose their life. This is the one I've chosen. And if I'm going to make balancing boards from the future, yes, that's going to ruffle a few feathers. I'm going to need to explain it to some people. They're going to come after us. We're going to have to solve problems. There's a long way to go from here. I thought filmmaking was the only passion I had in life. Now I have another passion, a passion to look forward to when going outside, to get away to find a thrill and to be adventurous to the world around me.